That's right, we've literally had to sell our car to be able to fund taking Northern Exotics onto the next level. There's a few things we need to do before this car goes. It is an absolute disgrace inside. So I want to give it a good clean inside. We've got the sticker on the back window as well. That also needs to come off. Let's face it, the new owner isn't going to want to see that sticker. And plus it gives the garage... Um, we're going to help the garage out by just taking it off. A little bit of goodness goes a long way in this day and age. Now it was a bit dark in here. Some of the lights are still off. It still is only 7 o'clock in the morning. The morning gecko's lights are on. Musu's lights are only just coming on. The tarantulas are on. But the rest of them are all off. So you may see the odd light flick on and off. Let's face it. Attenborough, the green tree python, he's on a sunrise sort of setting thing. So he's going to have one light come on, then another light, and then another light. It's fascinating if we can catch it all on this video, but I doubt we will. But Northern Exotics is a lot more than what people expect. And that's because you guys only really know the YouTube channel side of it, not the trade side of things. I mean, we do a lot of... Do you know the reptile shops, they get all their goods delivered? Well, sometimes they actually go out to locations to pick up their stuff. Stuff like their animals, their products, all that sort of stuff if they're going to strict little dealers and stuff like that. I'm normally the one, locally, that gets called up. Look, mate, we're really snowed under today, but I've got to go to Stafford. I've got to drive two hours to go and pick up this bulk of fish, these animals, these this. Can you go and do that instead? And that's a one part of Northern Exotics, which has grown quite vastly over the last few months. I want to be able to help out the reptile rescue a little bit more. That means deliverings, collections, running things around. They're building a new unit down at their Nutsford depot and to be able to transport some of the wood around that's needed to line it all out. And just, I need more space to be able to expand Northern Exotics as a brand. That's where this comes in. We went and got a van. That's right, we've just part exchanged our little, lovely little car that was dead cheap to run around for this van. Now, granted, on the first maiden voyage of this van, we did take it down to the mountains in Snowdonia. Had a little lovely little walk around. It was a bit windy, but we do have some big plans for this van. I mean, we're going to be changing it around. We're also going to be turning it into a bit of a mini camper sort of style thing. That'll all be on our second channel, Northern Exotics 2. Uh, we're going to do the full build out and stuff on there. But we're going to be able to fit more space in this van. We're going to be able to take on a little bit extra work to be able to help pay for it because it's such a big um, risk. Not so much a risk. Um, we're just taking on a lot more finances and stuff like that, so we need to expand. But to be able to expand, it in turn improves the business and picks the business side of things up again. Let me go and show you around the van. Trust me to pick the day when it's raining the most, but look at it. Doesn't it look just a little beauty? It does basically just look like the Ford Fiesta's front end, which I actually love. It does look nice. Got the roof rack on the top. That will eventually be coming off uh, for something just a bit more appropriate for what we need. All those stickers have got to come off. Got it. Load of space in the back. Now, obviously, I've still got some of the hiking stuff in here. I'm going to go do the school run, so that's why this car seat's there. But we've got, like, all these tie-downs. I don't know how they're going to stay in there, whether we're going to keep them in there or what, but they'll be able to help out. We've got a 12-volt socket in here, which means we can constantly charge a battery pack. So when we do have an animal or some description in here for a long period of time that needs a lot of electricity, we'll have that power bank that we're going to charge up using that to be able to power it if we so need to. We've got a bulkhead just there, just in case anything goes flying. Uh, oh, this is a big step and I'm chuffed to bits. We've got another big load area just there, which we can actually get in and get stuff in. Underneath the here, so in there, underneath here, there's a subfloor. So there's a floor which we can cut out the floor, make a bit more height space, because we do have a fair bit of height space, but a little bit more just there would be extremely um, helpful, so to speak. The seat is, look at the interior, it just looks nice. Pull that up, goes like that, then you've got that just there. So you've got a hole going through the bulkhead. So if we've got anything small and thin, that goes straight the way through perfectly fine. We've got another seat there. So if it's heavy equipment that we're lifting, I can take a third passenger with me to be able to help lift everything. We're just extremely grateful for the opportunity to be able to grow our own business and help out the reptile rescue just a lot more. And it's all thanks to you guys. If you guys weren't watching, viewing, subscribing, liking the videos, we wouldn't be in this position to be able to do this. And it's just a, it's a big step forward for me. It's a lot of money. I mean, we paid eight grand for this van. It's a hell of a lot. Granted, thanks to COVID, the price of cars and everything has shot up. That's why we did pay quite a bit for this. 
But we also got quite a bit for our part exchange as well. 12 months ago, I tried to part exchange that car and they were only going to give me 1,200 quid. I've just part exchanged it for nearly three grand. Thank you, COVID, I guess. So the things you guys are actually going to see with that van is on this channel, we'll be able to, when we go out and do reptile rescues or when we do beast watch work, going out and doing stuff, it'll be on there. If you subscribe to my second channel, Northern Exotics 2, you'll see the full camper van sort of slide build out sort of thing on there we're going to put quite a few videos out on there i can't wait to be able to do that sort of stuff because you think if there's sort of a camper van sort of thing in there i can travel a lot further than what the reptile rescue can actually travel to go and obtain animals that need the reptile rescue we'll be able to drive all the way out there sleep overnight somewhere and then nip up pick up the animal and get it back in that day it's just, it opens up so much more opportunities for both Northern Exotics, the Reptile Rescue, and the Reptile Shops that we do a bit of work for. It's just a big step, and I thought I'd share, I'd share it with you guys. I mean, you guys mean the world to me, and you should share everything that goes on for me. This is amazing. I'm well chuffed. Thank you, every single one of you.